what is up you guys i'm back so it's later in the day i just took a shower actually hold on let me prop you up i just took a shower and i decided i wanted to do like a mass treatment today's a pretty chill day so i don't really have anything going on today but but I wanted to like use today to go over some ideas so for vlogmas when I decided to do it I really wasn't thinking because now I want an intro and I felt like I feel like I should have thought about that before I did it but you know it's still not too late you know we still got some days like weeks before Christmas so I decided that I want to do an intro which was why in yesterday's vlog I was looking at like those like pajama wears because I wanted it for my intro that I'm gonna do I do need help filming it though and the days that my mom works will make it hard because of her hours so I think I'm gonna film it Monday which gives me enough time because I need like I want like a cute Christmas hat not not a hat maybe a I don't know how to describe it. Like, maybe those things with the antlers and stuff and, like, you know, some house slippers that matches the outfit that I have. So, I'm going to look if I can find that, like, on Amazon so that I can get that here before Monday so that I can film it. So, I just want to do a cool intro so that, you know, my videos look nice by the way this is the sugar kitten i do care i don't know if it's gonna focus yeah so it's like a it's a peel off mask a peel off mask but it is so cool like how it looks It um, it's like holographic so it looks purple in some light and it looks green in other lights or like how your face is turned but I love using this mask but I haven't used it in a while but I love how it feels on my face and because it's peel off like it's not messy at all. I already washed my face and everything. So perfect to do it now. So that once it dries and I peel it off, all I have to do is just, you know, finish moisturizing my skin. Y'all, so I've been um, on TikTok and for some reason, I ended up on like, anime tiktok and like y'all i'm not like i don't watch anime like i the most i know is watching like seeing clips of naruto and goku growing up because my uncle who's not that much older than me like used to always be watching it so that's all i know but I saw this cool tattoo on, I think his name is Ryuk, Ryuk, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it. And it's from like that show Death Note that's on Hulu. So I decided to watch it and like, it's actually good. And you know, it's in, it's in English, which makes it perfect. And I'm just like why have I not never watched this like I've seen like pictures of him it's from Dead Note that show if y'all know what I'm talking about but I got it in my hair it's from Dead Note that's what the show is called but it's actually good like I'm on the fifth episode I just started watching it today which is why I haven't been filming anything because 
But there's nothing to do today, though. And I love these little spatulas because it makes it less messy. And you can just like scrub the excess off. I got this on Amazon. And this was a TikTok find as well. Like, y'all, I be buying everything I see on TikTok sometimes. But I bought this like last year during the pandemic. But it's really good. I love it. So I'll link it down below because, yeah, I got it on Amazon. But yeah, I'm going to let this dry. And I think I'm going to make some tea. I don't like putting um, masks like, around here. I feel like it's annoying. Which is why I don't know why I did this earlier. But whatever. Then I'm going to think up some ideas for how I want this intro to look. Because I want it to be like, you know, funny and cute. I want to film it with my... DSLR. I do have a Canon T5i, I think. A Rebel. Let me see. I haven't used it in forever, you guys, but it does do really good, like, it does take really good um, videos and clips. The only reason I don't use it as much is because it's heavy. It's heavy, y'all. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the tea and then we are going to let this dry. And I'm going to go on Amazon, see if I can find like um, some cute house slippers. That's Christmas theme to match the sweater that I got. Oh, I didn't even show you which one I chose last night. Let me show y'all. Alright, so this is the one I ended up getting from I ended up going with the one that's not blue. It's the... It's more like gray, but the reason I did this one is because it had sparkles in it. The other one didn't. And like, what... What's Christmas without sparkles? It does have some red, which it doesn't match the theme of my house. But, you know, it's close. It's weird because, like, none of the... Because the theme this year isn't red and green, which is what most, like, you know, items come in. Like, Christmas, Christmas outfits, Christmas wear. So, it's hard finding something. But, this works, I feel. It works. So, yeah. I got this one that says, here, yeah, Jingle Bells. So, I'm happy with it. So, while that's heating up, I forgot that I didn't show you guys how the um, stockings turned out. So, it was hard to find stockings that match, like, a light blue. But we did find these ones. We did find these ones. We... They still match. We do have some dark blue on the tree, though, so it worked out. And then I just, um, I added, like, the paper that I mentioned last vlog in there to make it, like, a bit more full. So that it would just, you know, stand. But, yeah. And then, oh, there's the Santa. I plopped him up top on the Christmas tree because I was like... At first, I was going to put him on the floor next to the tree, but I was like, no, I need him to be up there next to these. I found some, I found a black angel. That's not my brother. I found a black angel in Hobby Lobby, and then my grandma got another one. I was just like, yes, I keep finding black representation, okay? So, I had to get them. been some time and I think it's dried now.
So I'm gonna start peeling it off. Here could dry a bit more, but I think it's just too much. Let me grab a mirror. All right, so. Here it is. And then you just peel it off. And it's not painful. Like, you remember, y'all remember when that um, mask challenge was going around where people would like put that it was this it was a certain brand of mask it was usually like black and it was so hard to peel off and people would put like huge coats like large coats of it on their face and then it would be like wax in your face like that's how painful it was taking it off y'all remember that let's see if i can find a clip But this is pretty easy. All right, so it's all gone. Now I'm just gonna finish up with my skincare. I've been using the Ordinary brand. So I use a niacinamide. So I use the niacinamide in sink, and then I use the hyaluronic acid. And then, I use, so I combine these two at nighttime. In the mornings, I just use the niacinamide. And then I use the ordinary, the caffeine solution under my eyes, just a little bit under each eye. And it really makes a difference like for your under eye bags. So I just do some. I mix the niacinamide and the hyaluronic one together because it'd be messy. If you do like, if you apply one, like you rub one in and then you rub the other one as a second layer, it when it dries, you see a bunch of like white flakes on your skin. So what I do is I mix them together and then I apply them to the skin and then it doesn't leave like any residue. And then the caffeine solution, I do put that against my skin. I know they say not to put these applicators on your skin, but like girl, I'm the only one using it. So I don't see the problem. So yeah, I put that. under my if you just leave this on your face once it dries your face feels really like you know tight hot like so I do finish up with some moisturizer this is the daily hydration moisturizer by elf initially I used another one called oh my god it's somewhere I got that one from Sephora. Let me see. The Laneige Water Bank. Oh, focus. Yeah, so it's the Laneige Water Bank one. I use it a lot though, so it's finished. And I get it at Sephora. Usually though, I like to go in the store and get it because then you have to pay for shipping. And... The Sephora's that are around me never seem to have it, so I'm always having to buy it online. And it does add up because this, I think, is like $38 and then shipping. So it adds up. So I was like looking for like a dupe or, you know, something with similar, with a similar 
ingredient that was like for hydration and I came across the elf one which is really good it has like vitamin E and jojoba oil so I like it and then I just use that I do love the lineage one though so if I come across it in the store I still get it so I use them interchangeably but it's just like I try to wash my face like twice a day. So, you know, that one is, it be adding up, bro. $40? $40. It be adding up. And I'm not rich, honey. So, I just use what I can. But yeah, I just use those products. And so far, it's been working great for my skin lately. Like, my skin's been clearing up. I also use, um, I've also been using like Koji acid, Kojic acid soap. So I just started using that though. So we'll see. But yeah, that's like my quick skincare, simple skincare. I don't do too much. I don't do the mask every day, y'all. Maybe like once a week, once every two weeks. But yeah, this is what I do. Anyways, this was it for today it is currently 3 25 but i'm gonna wrap up today's vlog and upload it so it can go up and then i will see you guys in my next video tomorrow make sure to like subscribe give me some ideas of what you guys want to see so let me know what you want to see let me know what you want to see so yeah like subscribe and i will see you in my next video Bye.